we are in Rome. Um, I'm currently sat with an Aperol Spritz. That's who doesn't want to be on the video, but um, I thought now was the most perfect time to start filming because let me show you. This is my current view. And it's honestly amazing. This, we, well, we had a disaster getting here and this is all we wanted to do when we were coming to Rome and like we'd planned for um, the afternoon of when we got here. We wanted to come and sit here and look at the Pantheon and have an Apple Spritz and sort of watch the world go by and have something to eat. So we've ordered some pizza and Apple Spritz and we're looking at the Pantheon and I'm just so very happy. So we're here for four nights. Um, we're going to the Colosseum tomorrow, very excited about that. Vatican after that. And then on the fifth, fourth, whenever, after the four nights in Rome, we're going to Florence and we're getting the train to Florence. So that will probably be like a different video series, but I'm so happy and excited. First Italian pizza. First try of Italian pizza. Cheers. <gasps> Cheers. <laughs> Nice. Mm. The base is really thin and crispy. Mm. Rome day two. Um, I didn't film very much yesterday because we got we got in a little bit late. Obviously, I explained little bits, um, and we were very tired. Um, so now we are up early in the morning in Piazza Navona. Our hotel is literally down that road, and it's so nice, perfect location. Um, we sat outside the Pantheon yesterday, as you saw, but the queues were really really long, so we couldn't be bothered queuing. So we've gotten up early this morning, seeing as the, the Pantheon's like a five minute walk away. So we're going straight to the Pantheon now. We're going straight to the Pantheon and then we're going to walk to the Colosseum because we're going to the Colosseum at 11. And we have, um, not we have, we're going to try and find breakfast along yeah. the way. Just a little pet stop for like a pastry and a coffee. See what that's like, but it's just gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> just a little tip we forgot to bring real usable water bottles with us so we've just bought water bottles we drank these yesterday um but you can refill them here and there's lots of these all over rome and this one's outside the pantheon on the map to see how to get to the Colosseum and looked up to see it's right there
actually get a chance to have some breakfast so we've come straight for lunch it's bang on 12 o'clock we're absolutely starving we've ordered a margarita pizza and some lasagna and we're gonna share um because we're going to this restaurant called Osteria di Fortunata tonight which is meant to be an amazing pasta restaurant and they make the pasta in the restaurant so we probably want something like spaghetti-ish there so we thought we'd have this for now um i forgot to tell you i just remembered we had gelato last night we because we had such a rough trip getting here we ended up um, sleeping from like five till half seven. And then we woke up, I was so thirsty, so we decided to go out, we bought some water and we bought the water in like a gelato, yeah. Um, and I was like, well, obviously we have to have gelato. Oh my God, the best thing I've ever tasted in my life. I had pistachio and Oreo and you had mango and limon, but it was some like cream lemon or something. It was like creme a limon. I don't know, um, but it was really good, amazing. So I just said we'll have this lunch and then um, maybe some more gelato. I forgot to film the lasagna because we wolfed it down, <laughs> but this is the pizza. Sorry, I just stopped you in my glasses. <laughs> I just finished lunch, lunch was really good. Really enjoyed my apple spritz. We'll come back to the Coliseum. We ate around the corner from the Coliseum. Now we're back on like the wall where everyone gets their pictures outside the Coliseum but I think the problem is there's loads of like road works or whatever this is but it Does still it looks really up? good still looks amazing um so now we're gonna find Palatine Hill which we think is like here somewhere oh yeah it's nice and these guys are holding a stick and whacking it around everywhere looks great ciao Willa. like large cobbles and very uneven so we need to sit down <laughs>
wanted to come and sit in this bar, but because it looks good, we prioritized a gelato. How is it? <laughs> We're finishing our gelato back in the room. <laughs> um, but I recorded this. And we were outside walking back to the room, but it never actually saved. But it was just to tell you a like, review of Osteria de Fortunata. Definitely worth it. There are some cheap places in Rome if you look in the right places. So I thoroughly enjoyed it. And then we finished the night with the gelato. The place we went last night was better. Um, but this is still really good. Like, that's not knocking this, but the place we went last night was a bit better. Um, so we'll probably go there again. <laughs> I'll just show you where it is near Piazza Navona because so good, so, so good. Good morning. We are on our way to the Vatican today, but this video is getting a little bit long, so I'm going to start to do it in two parts because otherwise I think the video would be really long. So I hope you enjoyed part one of the video, but part two will be up. Um, so come and follow us for part two to the Vatican, Spanish Steps, Trevi Fountain, just wandering around Rome. And then in a couple of days, we're going to Florence as well. So make sure to follow us to Florence and I will see you there. Bye.